According to the EPA, PFAS can be found in water, air, fish, and soil. You might be surprised, but some of the people who have the most to worry about are firefighters. You may be finding these forever chemicals sitting in your cabinets, maybe even in your pots and pans. After discovering her passion for farming, she invested all of her resources towards creating the only food-focused urban garden center in the city. We are actually at the West Town location for Farmer John. Right behind me, you can see that they're actually doing a prayer right now over the land. Here in West Philadelphia, the pandemic and protests have really taken a toll throughout the city. But three years later, they have bounced back. We're going to take a chance to see how these folks have bounced back since the beginning. As you can see, this is where the window used to be. Now it's just a brick wall. All of this happened after the George Floyd protest broke out. Coach Frank ends her career on a record high of 898 wins, 26 NIWFA championships, and led the Owls to placing fifth in the college fencing 360 ranking for the 2019 and 2020 season. Those are just a few of her accolades. Thanks, guys. Preparing for game day can be stressful at the Leah Course Center. Every step before and during the game is carefully planned for attendees to have a safe and fun night. After speaking with Lee Roberts and Kate Gear, we learned how Temple University gets ready for game day. The Environmental Protection Agency wants to regulate substances that might be toxic in the water that we drink. Here's a look at how you can identify these toxins in your everyday life. It's a complicated name. Well, PFAS is short for per and polyfluoroalkyl substances. And the substance could have a dangerous effect on your health. Long-term cancer. Um, cardiovascular, renal, liver disease. PFAS, also known as a forever chemical, doesn't break down in the environment. Yeah, I've been here since 2017. Meet Assistant Professor of Environmental Health and Safety, Dr. Emmanuel obing Jesse. Those with um, pre-existing conditions would probably be the most vulnerable. According to the EPA, PFAS can be found in water, air, fish, and soil. So if you're continuously exposed to PFAS, the inflammation that comes within the body. All that kind of contributes to adverse health outcomes. You might be surprised, but some of the people who have the most to worry about are firefighters. Because of the materials used within them, like, you know, the aqueous foam for firefighters, the waxes used, used for ski um, waxes, they generally have been found to contam be contaminated with PFAS. You may be finding these forever chemicals sitting in your cabinets, maybe even in your pots and pans. Generally, some non-stick non cookware have elevated PFAS levels. Here's the bottom line. Dr. Emmanuel Obing Jesse told me if you're worried about forever chemicals, you might want to get your water tested. Depending on the history of the area where one is living, the water may be contaminated with PFAS, right? But it shouldn't be something that alarms people, right? There's a reason why 97% of the population has some exposure to PFAS. In Greensboro, Carlton Wiggins, NABJ News. March 14th, 2020. That was the day when businesses in the U.S. closed because it was the start of the pandemic. Two months later, the George Floyd protest broke out. Businesses in Philadelphia were experiencing the loss of customers along with looting and rioting. You can't pay people enough to sacrifice their lives. Here in West Philadelphia, the pandemic and protests have really taken a toll throughout the city. But three years later, they have bounced back. We're going to take a chance to see how these folks have bounced back since the beginning. John Beckin owns a bookstore called Bendel Step Books on Baltimore Ave. Their business is somewhat back to normal, but when the pandemic first started, there was this feeling of uncertainty. Was there going to be a shutdown? Was there not going to be a shutdown? And there were some discussions among the staff as to what we should do. Even though they had their setbacks, John told me about this pharmacy right across the street. Davis Pharmacy experienced a night that no owner wants to go through. Rioters broke in and looted the place. They even tried breaking into the safe. We called the police, but nobody showed up. And then we said, hey, we see the they break in the store right now because we have camera. We see they break in. As you can see, this is where the window used to be. Now it's just a brick wall. Being hit with the pandemic and rioters, many business owners didn't know what to do. Resources like Lancaster Avenue 21st Century are business organizations that help people through this time. We had a lot of questions. People called us 
people who did not always have conversation all of a sudden had conversation with us. One thing that's helped the economy stay afloat three years later is technology. Some of the other businesses are doing e-commerce and they understand again the value of technology the ability to manage communicate and advertise your business through the internet can be game changing it's nothing new but it's the new norm reporting from west philadelphia i'm carlton wiggins philadelphia neighborhoods